Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how you can start feeling attractive within you and how eventually that would lead up to you becoming attractive, not just for your specific person, but to people in general. So I am going to discuss three main steps that you can follow and become that most attractive version of yourself that you are seeking currently. Okay, so the first step is to change your mindset around beauty, attractiveness in general, okay? So the society that we live in, right, um, there is this preconceived kind of idea and notions around what beauty should look like. Everyone has their own opinions on beauty. Everyone has their own definition of beauty. And that's why mostly it is said, right, that beauty is subjective. So what does that mean when people say beauty is subjective? That means that every person on this earth finds beauty in different kind of characteristics, different kind of traits. And here I'm talking about people. So something that is beautiful for you might not really be beautiful to someone else. And what your idea of beauty is when it comes to a person, whether it's physical or it is something related to their character and nature, would be completely different than the next person. So if you are one of those who is stuck in that kind of really rigid mindset of how beauty should look like, you really need to get out of that mindset and bring yourself into that enlightenment that beauty is how you perceive it. Beauty is what you can create within you and it will by default reflect outside. Someone might find quiet people attractive and some people might find loud people attractive. Some people like introverts, some people like extroverts. Someone really is attracted to a tall person and someone really likes short people. And the kind of people someone is attracted to can always change. It changes all the time actually. There are so many people who end up falling for people that they never would have thought they would have been attracted to. I'm sure you would have seen someone in your circle or you have heard about someone where you are really stuck on that idea, you know, this is the kind of person they are attracted to. This is their type, okay, the type. So the type can change anytime, all the time. Beauty is subjective. Attractiveness, the level of attractiveness is subjective and you can attract any kind of person to you even if you are stuck in that mindset that you know this person is only attracted to a certain kind of characteristic personality or beauty if you want to call it that way but all that is just what we keep in our mind and we stay stuck in those ideas but when i say beauty is subjective it applies to everything you can always change people's perception about how they want to interpret your beauty so unlike that idea and notion that the society has put in our mind, right? Our programming regarding beauty, what beautiful means, that, you know, beauty is everything that is on the outside. Unlike that, um, beauty is actually something that comes from within. Okay, as cliche as that may sound, but your idea of being beautiful, attractive, amazing, everything is something that can be created within you and you can make that conscious choice of becoming that person this moment onwards. So this is where those people who actually think that everyone is beautiful, beauty comes from within, beauty is just not about your looks, those people would really, really flourish at this stage. So remember, the first step is to break out of this mindset that the society has conditioned you into, that beauty is something people are born with, Beauty is related to looks. Not everyone can be beautiful. You need to completely get rid of that mindset. You need to know that you can create beauty within you. Okay, you can make that conscious choice at any point of time that today onwards, I would be stepping into that version of me that feels beautiful, that feels attractive, that feels like this amazing, charming person I am. Beauty is always, always internal like everything else in your life and that we teach in the manifestation community, right? Everything is coming from here. So that is an idea you have to build up inside you. Now the second step would be what I mentioned a bit in the first step as well. You need to make a conscious choice 
once you have worked around that mindset of getting rid of those really rigid definitions of what beauty and attractiveness refers to you need to come back to yourself and now you need to create a self concept around attractiveness and beauty and step into that version who knows that you are that beautiful attractive person this is a really conscious choice you need to make and you would not be able to make this choice if you stay stuck in this idea about yourself where you say these things to yourself internally or think about this a lot that i am not beautiful i am not attractive i lack all these features like you actually list down things um it could be anything right it could be your hair your body it could be the way your nose or your lips are shaped or your eyes are shaped right we just tend to put so much focus on the physical attributes and that is why uh, that is one of the main reasons we forget how beauty is created internally first so when you really decide that you will change your self concept around beauty around feeling attractive around feeling beautiful around choosing that person okay choosing that version of you choosing what kind of woman or man you want to be from this moment onwards no one else can decide that for you no one else can create a definition for you of how beautiful attractive or amazing you feel as a woman or as a man because if you always stay stuck in what someone else's definition of beauty is you will always keep trying to meet these unrealistic standards everyone else out there you know 10 people 20 people 30 people people you meet at different stages of your life as i mentioned everyone's definition of beauty is different right so how many people standard would you keep meeting till you realize that this is something you have to create your own definition about okay you have to turn within create that beauty within you and that is how it will reflect outside and that is how those people will start seeing you so like everything else in your life things work inside out okay first you have to create it within you and then it will reflect outside it does not work the other way around so your whole life you cannot keep um, meeting the standards of beauty what other people have said you might have people in school that have a different um, view on what beauty looks like then you will meet different kind of people in college you will meet different kind of people in your workplace it does not matter okay what matters is what is the definition you create about yourself within yourself and then all the people that actually enter your life will reflect that to you so to make that conscious choice of changing your self concept around how you see yourself how you think about yourself in terms of attractiveness and beauty would be accomplished once you get rid of the societal norms about how beauty should look like and you need to get rid of all that inner dialogue you have within you that keeps repeating to yourself that you know you are not beautiful you are not charming you are not magnetic you are not feminine you have to get rid of all that dialogue in this self concept exercise this moment onwards choose to step into that version of yourself that feels attractive that feels really magnetic that feels like you're this amazing charming woman that feels you are beautiful that feels that you are so so charming and pretty that no one can help themselves but look twice when you pass by this is the self concept you need to create for yourself within yourself and feed your mind feed your inner world these kind of affirmations that will slowly start getting rid of that other dialogue you might be having where you're telling yourself that you are not beautiful you are not pretty and the people you like are not attracted to you or your specific person is not attracted to you trust me no one is born with beauty okay and when i say that you might be thinking that no some people are born beautiful they are so beautiful as children and when they grow up they have these beautiful features so this is what i'm trying to convey to you again that beauty is not just about looks and especially when you start growing up and when you're out of your teenage years and also when you're out of your 20s okay 
you will realize that it is something that comes with experience that beauty is not just about looks that is a really surface level way to see beauty it's a really shallow way to see beauty and i read this somewhere i don't remember who wrote this but it was something on the lines of anything that is the most beautiful about human beings or about another person is actually never physical when you say someone is charming or when you actually fall for someone it's never just their looks because if they are just a pretty face but there's nothing going on behind that face there's nothing going on behind that there's no personality there's no sense of humor there is no mannerism then that beauty kind of is useless and by useless i mean it's just surface level okay there's nothing going on behind that surface so the other 90% of the things okay are actually something you create within you and they will reflect outside looks in my perspective is maybe just 10% of the whole package so today decide what kind of woman or what kind of man do you really want to be when you're walking around you know when you're by yourself how do you want to feel about yourself how do you want other people to feel about you do you want to be this really graceful feminine woman do you want to be really charming do you want to feel really beautiful and magnetic choose those versions for yourself okay you have infinite versions and as i mentioned in my previous videos there is abundant potential on this earth okay you have all these realities all these options all these possibilities put your focus pick one potential put your focus on that and make it true for yourself if this is not the version you like of yourself and you want people to see you a certain way and you want to see yourself in a certain way step into that version choose that version for yourself today onwards what you think you are who you truly believe you are will reflect in the outside world the people in your immediate reality the people who are involved in your life the people about whom you can create assumptions will show up that way in your life where they also think you're attractive and that includes your specific person now the third step and the final step includes your specific person okay here once you have worked on your self concept around beauty once you have worked on your mindset about how beauty should look like once you have gotten rid of that dialogue where you are telling yourself things opposite to what you want to create this step is about creating imaginal scenes okay it would include techniques where your specific person is telling you things that you want to hear from them so create imaginal acts and cultivate that experience within yourself where your specific person is actually telling you the things you want to hear they are giving compliments to you they are seeing you that way because you are seeing yourself that way remember everyone is you pushed out what you assume someone will see you as someone will think about you as that is how they will see you so here i would suggest you to get really really specific when you're doing affirmations imaginal acts in a conversations visualization any technique that you love doing for example if you're doing visualization you can actually get very specific and if you want to hear from your specific person that you are such a beautiful woman i have never met anyone like you your beauty goes so deep i'm so charmed by you all the time if there are any kind of certain sentences and lines you really want to hear from them get very specific and imagine them sending that to you or imagine them saying those things to you imagine them whispering those things to you while you're having an intimate moment imagine them calling you and saying these things to you imagine them typing those things out and imagine receiving their text messages or receiving their whatsapp messages you can imagine so many things you can have so many amazing conversations around this topic where your specific person is complimenting you in the exact way you want to hear from them and get really really into those scenes you know put everything that is around you on hold 
take out some specific time in the morning, afternoon or evening to get into those imaginal scenes. You can do it before sleeping at night too. That is a really good time to do inner conversations or visualizations because your subconscious mind is wide open and it can be impressed really easily with new beliefs. And here you want to create those beliefs within you where you know that my specific person sees me this way. He sees me as this attractive woman. He sees me as this magnetic woman. Imagine talking to them, imagine them saying beautiful things to you, imagine them saying they cannot get enough of you, imagine them saying they cannot stay a day without seeing you, imagine them having a conversation with you where they're actually counting and making a list and telling you, you know, these are all the things I find so attractive about you and how much ever I try or how much ever people I've met, I never find these qualities in anyone else. Let them compliment your personality, let them compliment how you make them feel, just your energy. It doesn't even have to be any qualities or traits, just your energy. Sometimes it's just someone's presence, just someone's energy that makes us feel a certain way. And you can't really pinpoint what it is. So create that energy within you where you know that people who meet me, people who um, are friends with me just want to be around me they love my energy they just like being in my presence so create all sorts of imaginal acts and really really get into it okay feel it real for yourself feel it's true for yourself and that is what will reflect in your reality your specific person will start showing up that way because you are feeling that way about yourself it will reflect outside so you're changing your mindset about all three categories you're getting rid of this um, rigid definition that society has set around beauty, around um, uh, how attractive a person should be. You're getting rid of that inner dialogue specifically about yourself that you keep telling yourself that makes you feel like you're not beautiful, you're not attractive, you're not charming. You are stepping into that version of you that chooses today what kind of woman you are. And then you're specifically targeting your specific person and assuming how they should show up in your reality assuming how they should see you as an attractive woman as a charming woman as a woman they cannot get enough of so in these three steps everything is covered that needs to be covered for you to completely transform yourself and your ideas about beauty and attractiveness and this is how you can become that attractive woman you want to become or the attractive man you want to become for your specific person or for any new love or for people in general. You can actually put out a lot of general affirmations if you want people around you, random strangers you meet to see you a certain way. Everyone always compliments me. Everyone always wants to be in my presence. Everyone always cannot get enough of my energy. Everyone always finds me charming and they don't forget to compliment me on it. And actually self-concept plays a huge role in this and everything actually in your life. But once you have that really strong self-concept that you are this beautiful, confident person, you actually will also see strangers coming up to you or people that you meet here and there, whether it's at events or parties, that just randomly come and they just want to compliment you. So your cue to really believe that your self-concept has started changing around this topic is when you will start receiving compliments from outside. These are some of the signs you will start getting. People will start seeing you in a different light. People will start suddenly telling you or your friends that, you know, you look different somehow. You're looking really, really pretty. You're looking really beautiful. You're looking really charming. What's going on? So this is a really, really common occurrence that happens once you change the idea of beauty within you. Uh, it has happened personally to me and I can vouch for that once you change your mindset around what beauty is within you, what charming is within you, it actually reflects on the people in your reality. And once you get start getting those signs, you can increase your belief, build up your belief that your specific person will also soon start seeing you that way. Use those signs as motivation to keep persisting in that end state where your specific person just cannot get enough of you and is just never getting tired of complimenting you. Okay, so that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. In case you have any questions around this, you can drop it in the comment section below. 
I also have my Instagram and Threads account linked below for a regular dose of motivation. Also my second YouTube channel that you can check out. It includes videos around self-development and mindset, not really from a manifestation perspective, but in general. So if it's something you find interesting, you can subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Till then have a great week.